snacks over here. We're gonna make chowder. We're gonna make chowder, but with salmon. It with salmon, right? right? And it looks you know what? amazing. This looks is, hearty. This is my son's favorite recipe that I make in the winter. Oh, it is. And so Andrew this is loves his it. comfort food. Good. Isn't that neat? How you know it is? You know, whatever it is for you, you know. Yeah. yeah so and it's also, okay. I mean, of course, he's the son of Marilyn, so it's healthy. <laughs> this is his healthy comfort food. That is excellent. The son of Marilyn. He's the son of Marilyn. <laughs> Doesn't that sound very he, important? He was, it does. He was at school the other day and. Uh, uh, one of the girls, he was sort of, I shouldn't say flirting, but anyway. Um, <laughs> don't watch was, this, Andrew. Yeah, don't watch this show, Andrew. Don't anyway, watch. Uh, so he, she had her lunch, and he was going, oh, that's Kale, that's this, that's this. And she goes, oh, my God. Anyway, so. She's like, you're she's hot. She's like, oh, you're hot. You anyway. know Kale. <laughs> and and it, I mean, he guessed arugula, too, so the kid's what? a genius. Anyway, yeah, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to make this chowder. Um, so I've got my oil. I've got the canola oil in there. I've got yes. onion, a lot of onion, because onions is really heart healthy. So this is oh, such good. a healthy version of a chowder. Okay. And so while that's gonna, uh, that should have browned maybe for about five minutes. Yeah. There's a ton of carrots, as you can see, so you can stir, Tracy. Mm -hmm. And then some celery, because I don't use a lot of sodium, or if any. Right. And there's naturally occurring sodium in celery. Is so, there? Yeah, there is. Who you know, knew? Yeah, they, they actually used uh, a celery extract in some of the meats because it's got a sodium in it, and they had to do, they had to actually declare that yeah. because it is a sodium source. Interesting. So uh, while you're stirring that, I'm going to talk about the salmon. So okay. uh, I went to the grocery store, and I'm from out west, and I'm yes. a bit of a snob when it comes to your fish. Um, huh? yes, yeah. Because I mean, I was raised on sockeye, wild sockeye. Right. But it was so expensive in the grocery store the other day, it and was so that. I found this, and these are these are pink. Now. Out west, pink salmon is not. It's kind of like the like the poor cousin, right? But it still tastes great, and it's still got omega threes. And so I was really impressed. This was so much uh, more reasonable. So it, it comes frozen, okay. And um, all you have to do is chop up the fillets. And actually, one of these packages is just a bit more than what you need for the recipe. So just put the whole thing in. I and think I'm going to chop them up that, frozen. You know, if you can't get the fresh, it's. Using a frozen fish is better than using, a, you know, a fresh alternative that's not going to be as good for you. I agree Wouldn't with you. you say? I would totally agree with you. And you know, sometimes the, I always say that when you go to a fishmonger, you should take a whiff of the fish. Yeah. And if it smells fishy, then it's it's not fresh. No. I mean, and you really need to have fresh fish. And I've always said if you don't like fish, it's probably because you had a bad fish experience with yeah. something that wasn't fresh. So this is flash frozen on the boats, and so uh, this is really fresh. That's so fresh. You, you cube it up, and we're going to let that sit. But I just want to do a home act tip. I, I always have a separate um, a cutting board for fish and meat and poultry oh. uh, as opposed to the vegetable ones. So Smart. always have that. You don't want to cross contaminate in your kitchen. Okay. So you're cooking that up and then we're going to add, um, we're going to add some chicken stock and uh, this chicken broth is, is uh, low sodium. Good. So that goes in there. It says in the recipe four cups but it's actually one entire Tetra Pak container which is 900 mils. I wish they'd get it together. Anyway, <laughs> and then uh, it's like, it's so maybe, stupid. Maybe they're listening to you oh, right now. Oh, they better. Let's anyway, hope they fix let's it. Let's hope they fix it. Anyway, and then there's two cups of kernel corn frozen okay and then um, little, about oh, 10 yeah. of these little potatoes and what you're going to do is you would simmer this for about did, oh shoot I did it to myself it's fine I'm not wiping I, there here you go I, there, there, I, there, okay I, there you go I'm, I'm happy you were you were like so committed to my it's okay it's okay, it's okay. But thank I you for caring so me. much so we would we would <laughs> I'm sorry look it's gone we this is why we're an apron at home I, I know people come over they go oh look what you were making anyway so um, you look this cook for about 10 minutes yeah. and then you take the lid off and then you're going to add the salmon and you're poaching the salmon in there okay. so you don't want to boil the living daylights out of it it's a very tender protein yeah so you add the protein in and then we're going to add the garlic at the same time because remember we talked about when you uh, chop garlic you're oxidizing it and when yes. you oxidize garlic it's more bioavailable okay and so it's even more heart healthy so you would put the garlic in at the same I'm gonna throw the fish in so that people see what so we're doing can I ask why you yeah. waited till now to put the garlic in like wouldn't you 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 wouldn't want to put that in the beginning with the carrot and the celery and the onion? In no. most recipes, but I didn't want to overcook it and I want the flavor of the garlic to be a bit stronger. Okay. Okay, so then Fair I would enough. cook this with, I'm using evaporated skim milk, so I'm cutting down the fat from the cream. Right. And that would go in there as well and that would cook all up. And then you add, add your peas. Oh, look and at how healthy that is. It is so is. beautiful. And here's my other home economist tip. What is going on this here? Is, <laughs> <laughs> That's a hanger, right? This is a coat hanger. Okay. And I go to the farmer's market in the fall and I buy as much Canadian garlic as I can. Okay. And then I hang it in my basement on these in, the, in a cool, dark place. Yeah. And I have Canadian garlic pretty much for the whole winter. I have about 20 of these hanging in the basement. So, so it must a be a good looking basement, huh? <laughs> mm. You don't know the half of it. Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> that is a good it's a, tip. It's a scary And this place. is some good chowder. Check good that chowder. out. And then when it's all heated up, you add the parsley. And this is so healthy for you. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it's like a, a bowl of health in a pot. No. Totally is. A bowl of health in a pot? A, a bowl pot? of health in a pot. A oh, pot whatever. of health. A, a pot, pot of health. health yeah, right? right. Okay, good. All right, let's go to break. All right. <laughs> Stay with us. City Life for the rest of the day. <laughs>